My name is Keo Kosha, and today we're going to be talking about Air Max. So welcome to the show. Today I wanted to uh, compare this Air Max 720 that we unboxed in a recent video. Yeah, you can look that up. And a Air Vapor Max 2019, which is actually one of my favorite uh, pairs of shoes for the year. But since we haven't unboxed that, let's do that right now. This is the Air Vapor Max 2019. On the top, you have this is actually the, the standard Air Vapor Max uh, Vapor Max box. It's a white box with like some spot lamination, and then there's a spot uh, reflective swoosh, like an iridescent swoosh over there. On either side of the box, it says Vapor Max, and then we come to the sizing label, and the sizing label says Air Vapor Max 2019, size 9.5, which is my size, in the black slash black metallic gold colorway, and this is the release colorway for the Air Vapor Max 2019. So let's open it up. Flipping open the top, we have all of the. Uh, white paper here and the white paper says Vapor Max over and over and let's open that up and here we have the shoe this is the Nike Air Vapor Max 2019 in the release colorway let's pull out the second shoe uh, this is actually one of my favorite shoes of the year uh, so much that this is actually my second Pair. I had another uh, pair of Air Vapor Max 2019 in the exact same colorway uh, and I liked it so much that now I have a new pair uh, and I'm very very happy with this shoe. Uh, the Vapor Max is a very polarizing shoe and as I take you through the specifications of the shoe and the details uh, I think you'll see why. The shoe itself is quite a stunner. It has a beautiful mix of this black and gold. It's uh, quite a flashy shoe. The upper is made up almost entirely of this uh, kind of mesh ripstop material which is uh, transparent and the inside there's a liner that's black so it kind of gives it kind of this gray color and then sandwiched in between that mesh, uh, this kind of ripstop breathable mesh and the interior lining is this gold lacing cage and that cage is uh, is wrapped with gold and it cinches around the arch the center of your foot giving it a really uh, tight and snug fit making it good for running the shoe itself is held together by all of this kind of hyper fuse overlays that go all the way around the shoe and then near the back of the shoe you have you have that same fuse overlay going around and it has a lot of overbranding, Vapor Max, Vapor Max, Vapor Max. And on the heel, you have a heel counter which is uh, which is new to this shoe. The other Vapor Max shoes don't have the same heel counter section. And in that heel counter, there is a debossed logo of the Vapor Max. Rope laces and gold tips. On the tongue, it says Nike VM 2019, which is Vapor Max 2019. And then it says Upper CS Bag Air and then TPU. I don't know what CS stands for. <laughs> I do know what TPU stands for and that's all that plastic area and then the airbag. So this, this heel counter is made of TPU, which is a form of plastic. Things to note about this shoe, this is a very polarizing design. All Vapor Maxes are quite polarizing. As you can see, there is no midsole and outsole really in this shoe. It's just, you know, AirPods directly making contact with the floor. And then they've got these little teeth to, to that's basically your outsole. There's some reinforcement around the edges that are, I guess, higher impact areas, but that's about it there's there is nothing there is nothing in between the floor and this uh, one two three four five pods of air and when this shoe originally came out when the vapor max first came out it was the most amount of air of uh, air inside a air max shoe this shoe 
Uh, a lot of people, when they first put it on, they think it's uncomfortable. And if I'm completely honest, when I first put it on, I thought it was uncomfortable. So I started wearing it and finally broke them in. And once I had broken them in, it took me about five wears, I fell in love with the shoe. There are a couple things that need to happen. First, here around the collar, there's some stiff material. Uh, this is, it, it's got some stitching and some padding over here around the collar, but it gets pretty thin in this section right here. And that uh, can cause a bit of discomfort when you first start wearing the shoe. So make sure you're wearing it with some nice socks, some nice thick socks, the first few, uh, the first few times that you bring the shoe out. But once that loosens up, it's gonna be very comfortable. The airbag itself, the sole itself, it needs some time to, uh, to become more flexible, like straight out of the factory, straight out of the store. It's quite firm and you need it to get some flex, so you have to wear it a few times. And that's also true around this midfoot cage. I have a very, very average foot shape. Once upon a time, I had some custom shoes made and when the, uh, when the bespoke uh, shoemaker, when the zapatero, measured my foot, he said, Keo, your, sh your foot is almost exactly the same as a standard last. Uh, the last is the wood uh, device that you make, uh, that you make the shoe around, that you make the, the actual upper of the shoe around. And he told me, Keo, it's kind of a waste of time to, a, a waste of time and money to make a new last for your foot because it's like a quarter of a centimeter off of a standard uh, last. So when I, when I say that a shoe is true to size, I'm very confident that it is actually true to size. This shoe is slightly tight, especially in the midfoot section here where the cage is, especially when you first get it. So if you have wide feet, you might want to go half a size up. Um, I did not do that. I have very standard feet. It fit me snugly and then after I broke it in, uh, that initial five wears, it was perfect and it actually created a lot of support for me. Something I like about this shoe is that while it is a performance running shoe as all Vapor Maxes are supposedly uh, supposed to be, it it's still quite a uh, stunner. Like you can still wear this very much for lifestyle use. In fact, I think it was Philippine National Streetwear Day when I first wore this shoe um, with a suit. Uh, those are my thoughts on the Air Vapor Max. I really like that um, that breathable mesh. You can run in the rain and it it dries very quickly, or you can walk around in the rain and it dries very quickly. Your toes do get wet. It's not waterproof by any stretch, but uh, it dries very very quickly. It's almost like some sort of dry fit shoe. Uh, yeah, so that's that. Those are my thoughts on the Air Vapor Max 2019. Again, one of my favorite shoes and. I have, this is my second pair. I got another pair because I like this, this pair of shoes so much. And um, yeah, great shoe. Now, what I wanted to do was compare it to the Air Max 720 because in that video I had said that I thought that maybe the Vapor Max has more total air, but seeing them side by side, that air unit inside the 720 is so much bigger. And these are both the same size. These are both 9.5 and they both fit me well. But look how much toe space there is in the Air Max 720. Although I'm probably getting that wrong because you align it, if you align it at the toe, you can see that the, the back of the actual shoe of the uppers do line up. So there's that extra one inch on the back of the Air Max. They're not a lot of big fans of the Vapor Max, of the Air Vapor Max, particularly of the Air Vapor Max 2019. I like this one because it has kind of a uh, quasi futuristic military look to it with the with the rip stop. But you know, it, it it's not for everyone. It's a little bit flashy, and it's supposedly still a performance shoe. So if you're buying it for lifestyle. At least it's dual use, I guess. If you if you can only buy one pair of shoes, this is a good choice. Um, the cool thing, though, about Air Vapor Max is that at retail, this one is I think 170 
US dollars or 190. I think this is 190 US dollars. So it's about 9,000 pesos. But since this is the launch colorway and uh, particularly for all Vapor Max, you can actually get them at discount or at outlet or at the factory store um, and get cool styles like this. And because they're slightly more obscure shoes, uh, you can really get away with with having something that's you know from a previous uh, from a previous release or a previous season. The Air Max 720 has kind of done this funny thing where it's both uh, it's both sleek and chunky at the same time. So it's got all these fast lines, uh, but it's still very much like a chunky you know big bodied shoe. And this one is just like completely sleek. Uh, still feels very much like a runner. If I had to choose between the two, I'd choose this one. Well, the nice thing about both of these is that they come in so many colorways that you can always look uh, unique and individual in them. But if I had to choose one for lifestyle, I would choose the 720. The 720 is a little bit more uh, versatile. It looks better in shorts because your feet don't look too small. This shoe, because of its size, it does get a little bit heavy, but it's very cushiony when you walk. Uh, it is a very relaxed shoe. So, mm, I guess you have to balance it. I don't know, I just feel like this is the future. I feel like it's a bit more, there's a bit more going on here with this with the 720. I do like the Vapor Max. I do like, I do like them a lot. It's like having to choose between two of my favorite shoes. But yeah, I'm gonna go the, with this one as the winner all right let me know your thoughts this has been the unboxing of the air vapor max 2019 in the original launch colorway i do like this shoe a lot uh, as i said this is my second pair but you know what this is also my second pair of 720s and i like this one a lot so yeah this is the winner today let me know your thoughts do you agree with me do you disagree with me please let me know in the comments below click a thumbs up if you think that we did a good job with this video and if you could please click the notification bell and subscribe to the channel that goes a long way to help us with this channel my name is Keo Kosho this has been Air Vapor Max 2019 versus Air Max 720 peace